All right, all right. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, we're going to make pasta with fried potatoes and chicken. We're going to use the penne noodles. We're going to use onion salt. Well, onion powder. I always call it onion salt. Onion powder, but it doesn't matter. Onion salt, onion powder. Basil, lorries, Mrs. Dash, and garlic. And then we're going to cut up this chicken. We're going to use those penne noodles. And we're also going to use a bag of frozen green beans. And I'll show you those when it's time. We're getting ready to season up these potatoes and get them frying. And I'll be right back and show you what we're going to do next. Okay? Hold on. All right, all right. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. One more thing that I didn't tell you we're going to use. Extra virgin olive oil. Again, like I said, I refill this. As you can see, it's been refilled. I refill this over and over and over again. I get the big one from Costco's and have at it. So we're going to put some olive oil in here. It doesn't matter if you get a little heavy with it. It's going to be just fine. You want to know why? You'll see at the end. Olive oil is good for you. I'll turn this oven on. Medium, high. Like I said, we're going to fry these. There's the garlic salt we're putting in. We're going to be real generous. Okay, we're going to be real generous because this is another one of those dishes that I'm only going to season once. And all those flavors need to be able to stay some on here, get some on that chicken, get some on those penne noodles, okay? It's not going to be salty, trust me. Now we're going in with the Mrs. Dash. And remember what I said, it's okay to be a little generous. Okay. Now we're going to use some um, Lowry's. And then again, like I said before, when it comes to seasoning your dishes, whichever, whatever the dish is, make sure and be mindful of using things that you and your family will use. The onion powder. If your family doesn't like Lowry's, don't use it. Again, I tell you again, Mrs. Dash is the only seasoning that you need to make sure that you use. And everything else should be just fine. This is the basil. You don't have to use anything but Mrs. Dash if that's all you got. Use what you have. Use what you know. Okay? Alright? So now... I gotta get something. Get something to stir this all up and get it all seasoned up. And then after I do that, we're gonna let these fry up for a little bit. So I'm just making sure that I get olive oil and those seasonings on all of these potatoes. That's what I'm doing right now. Yes, that looks like a lot of olive oil. Okay, but again, I say it's really not. Can you see that? Okay, it's really not because that's going to be our juice for this whole dish. Okay, sometimes you'll need to add a little bit more. That's fine. Add a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to fry these up and then I'll be back. Okay. All right, we are back. Now, here's the fried potatoes. Now, this is probably maybe, I think, about eight potatoes that was cut up, diced up, and put into this pan. We put the seasoning in there. Now, the chicken. These are just simply chicken tenders that I boiled with no seasoning at all, which is why we seasoned this quite generously. So, this is probably eight chicken tenders. We're going to put that in there. These are done. They were boiled, boiled alone, no seasoning, no nothing. Then, we're going to put in something else. Penne noodles, I made these yesterday to go with another dish. We're going to put some of these in here. Penne noodles, make them according to whatever the package tells you, which is boil them for like, what, maybe 8 to 12 minutes, something like that. So we're going to put some of these in here. Not all of them. Just some of them. 
And this is one of those dishes you can always add back. You can add some more, add some more. If you want some more in there, you can add some more. Again, I say we didn't season this because we seasoned those potatoes. I mean, we seasoned them to goodness, okay? And now, oh, potato noodles overboard. So now, it's kind of breaking these apart because, you know, they're kind of sticking together a little bit. And then we're going to add something else. Just a bag of frozen green beans. Just frozen green beans. Doesn't matter if they're frozen because guess what? We're going to cook this. So here we go again, letting all the flavors, everything we put in there, just marry together. And that's what's happening. We're just going to let this cook. I'm going to stir all of this up. And this is one of those times where I said if you need a little bit more olive oil because we put all this stuff in here, we're absolutely going to add a little bit more. You can't over olive oil this. Okay? And as you can see, the bottle was full when we started. See how much is in there now? Can you see that? There we go. See? You're going to use quite a bit of olive oil. And olive oil is not going to hurt you. This is not cooking grease. So it's not going to hurt you. It's going to be alright. So I'm going to just stir this all up. Let these flavors marry. This is going to cook for about 10 more minutes, and it'll be done. So I'm going to let it cook, and we're going to come back. I'm going to plate it up for you. Let it see what it looks like. So guess what? She'll be back. All right, welcome back, welcome back. Here is the final result. That is our penne noodles, our fried potatoes, green beans, and chicken. There you go. Check that out. Don't you want a plate? I know I do. Wish you could smell it. It is so good. So delicious. Simple to make. Things made easy with Gigi. See you next time. Bye-bye.